Sure, I guess it's nice to be born with some kind of innate superhuman ability or mutant force giving you incredible powers. But sometimes, even the most loved superheroes need a little bit of help from their gadgets. Think about Batman's utility belt, Iron Man's exoskeleton, or Black Panther's bulletproof suit. In fact, some of this incredible technology could soon be within grasp of us non-super folk. Jess Wade is a physicist working on next-generation materials with super-powered functionalities. My name's Jess Wade, and my superpower is creating the technology of the future. So at the moment, if you want to have any electronics that tell you things about your body, whether it's something to do with your health or how much you've walked or run that day, it will do it by having an electronic chip that's encased in something that's flexible. So you'll get a pretty rubbish piece of plastic, something that just bends, and then you'll put that electronic chip inside there and then bend the plastic. And that's how you wear it, like something on your wrist. What we want to do is make that flexible plastic material be able to conduct electricity. So that actually the thing that's doing the bending is the thing that's doing the monitoring. We're studying some really, really neat examples of where nature has got really awesome nanostructures. We're looking at these kind of structures and then trying to put them into technology. Some kinds of things like beetles have really, really cool structures within their shells. If they had white light bouncing off a beetle's shell, some of the light that comes back is polarized in a really neat direction. Or butterfly wings have incredible structures that make them completely transparent at every single angle. And what scientists like me are doing are we're investigating all of those different structures and working out how to recreate that in our lab with our materials. So at the moment, people are working on lots of different kinds of technology using exactly the same materials, but in slightly different ways. Some people are just using them as inks and printing them onto massive flexible sheets so that we can make solar panels that we can roll out across the desert. Some people are trying to create sensors that we could interface with even individual cells within our body to monitor our own health and then not only tell that information to us, but instantly tell that information to our doctors so that we don't have to go and wait for ages for a doctor's appointment. So I think the future way that this technology will be used is thinking about different aspects of our lives that would be made easier if the material we're contacting had any kind of brain or sensitivity or electricity running through it. And that's what we're trying to work on. It seems like some of the best superheroes, we have a lot to learn from animals. The humble beetle could lead us to a whole new generation of wearable electronics, interacting with the world and our bodies.